and searched thoroughly. We were very, very nervous because having a guy like Bundy loose in your community is like having Frankenstein. I was really fearful that he was hurting people. He had been missing maybe a little bit over five days. And we were getting tired, so we started down the mountain. And on the way down, we met a car approaching us. But he came over in our lane a little bit. And just as he got to us, his lights went out completely. So I pulled the vehicle over, and I went up. I looked in the car. I shot my light around to see if there's any obvious weapons. And I looked at him, and uh, he had on a hat that was ridiculously small. I mean, it, it, he had it pulled down over his face, and it, most of his skull was visible. I said, can you take that off? And instead of letting him take it off, I just reached in and pulled it off. And I just put my gun next to his head, and I said, welcome back, Ted. Bundy was back in court this morning. Hi, Ted. How are you doing? Good. How are you? Uh, here. Judge George Lohr advised him of additional charges, escape, second-degree burglary, misdemeanor theft, and felony theft. If Bundy is convicted of these counts, he could spend up to 90 years in prison. While Ted was in prison in Utah, I was one of the few people that could visit Ted. And they put us in a room that was all still riveted. And so I was physically with Ted. We hugged and we talked. And I asked him why he was in a restrictive jail cell. And he said that he was caught with a Utah driver's license and a credit card and a social security card. And I asked him, well, where did you get that in prison? And he said, well, the prisoners made it. And then he asked me to lean into him. So I leaned into him. And he said, I want you to look at the, the vent in the ceiling. He said, I could crawl out that air vent if I lost a lot of weight and escape. And I didn't think twice about that. I didn't tell the warden when I left. I just thought he was being nuts. Ted Bundy has escaped again. 5'11", 145-pound former law student hacked out a light fixture, then hauled himself up through a 12-inch by 12-inch hole in the ceiling. Somebody provided him a hacksaw blade, and he sawed through that light fixture big enough so that when he lost 35 pounds, he was able to crawl up through there, down into the uh, jail officer's private apartment, grabs himself a set of clothes, and he's gone. When the news came that he escaped, I obviously knew that he told me how he would do it, and I hadn't told the Utah warden. I'm not too proud of that. I don't believe any of us thought that Ted Bundy would be able to stop killing. It was of serious concern to us that his desire and need to kill was growing while he was in jail, and that compulsion was going to be acted out soon. 